Hi there, we're at Music Makers and we're in the magic department. We have Dr. Jerry here who is going to be doing some cosmetic surgery to this lovely but nicked harp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the cosmetologist and we have a cosmetics bag for musical instruments. And let me just unpack it a little bit and show you what, uh, what we have. This is basically a a traveling kit. It's something you can carry with you uh, to a gig and if you happen to bump the harp or the instrument uh, uh, as you're handling it you can touch it up right on the spot. What we have is uh, a uh, polish here for light wood that would go like on the soundboard. We have a polish for dark wood that would go on the sides here. And I'll, <clears throat> we'll be showing you how well this works to touch up uh, scratches and dings. Um, we also have a top coat which is a varnish and it comes with a little brush in the cap. And so if you, are, uh, if you have some bare wood where it really got worn, you can touch up the color and then put a top coat on. Uh, we also have these four pens. They're felt tip fine point pen all in different colors. This is a medium brown and we have a light brown and a black and a dark brown and so we have different colors depending on the wood grain that you have, the color of the grain. Uh, we might even be able to add grain lines uh, in a damaged area if necessary. Um, Here's some Q-tips for application uh, of these things if you need them. Uh, we have a uh, paper towel basically for application also. We have, uh, this is our exfoliator uh, pad here, our uh, uh, sandpaper in different grits. The white is the, is the heavy coarse grit and the black is the light fine grit. And then finally, this is not a paintbrush. This is a duster. It looks like a paintbrush, but it's meant for getting into tough places so that you can keep your uh, harp clean or your instrument uh, underneath the strings, whatever. And then uh, there is also a complete set of instructions for doing all these different things. You can uh, dust the instrument, clean dirt and paint smears, polish the finish, restore dents, hide scratches, and seal bare wood spots. All of that is in here uh, fully explained. So this is your field cosmetics kit. And we want to show you how it works. We happen to have a harp here that uh, has been uh, lovingly handled for many, many years, I think by renters, <laughs> <laughs> students. And so if you look closely, you'll see all kinds of scratches and dings and uh, there's paint spots on here, there's dents, there's nicks and uh, it could use a little uh, TLC I think. It could use some cosmetics. It could think? use a facelift. <laughs> okay. Alright, so Debbie, let's get to work on yes. this harp. Where are we going to begin? First of all, I would make sure to put a pad on your work table. Um, let's see, maybe I'll just leave it standing up like this. And th this is the area that we'll work on first here. These are white spots, but they're uh, actually paint that's on top of the wood. And so we need to get rid of them. And what I use for that is the fine sandpaper. We're actually, uh, since there's paint on top of the old finish, we're just going to get rid of the paint. And we'll do it by sanding lightly. Now it looks like I'm doing more damage than I'm uh, fixing here. But I am getting the paint off and then we'll restore the uh, shine of the wood after I get the white stuff off of there. And we take a rag, and then this is where we use this dark wood uh, furniture polish. Just 
is the nice dark color. Okay, there's still a few spots here. They're smaller, but there's still a few uh, dark spot or light spots in the dark wood. And so this is where I would uh, get out a graining pen. Something like this. This is dark brown. And we can actually color those spots. Mm -hmm. Might have to dry the, uh, yeah. the polish a little bit so that it takes here. I think the polish is preventing my uh, graining pen from uh, working on. fully. Hmm. Try some of this again here. We're not actually removing any chips or uh, dents or anything, we're just coloring them. So we'll take a little more of this. What about the cotton swab? Yeah, we could take a cotton swab too. deeper into those, uh, to these little cracks here. Here's a big long one here, see? Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yep. Here it's gone. This polish is uh, Old English brand, and you can get it in uh, different colors for light or dark wood. And this is the dark wood stuff I'm using here. Makes quite a difference. Over here, we have huge areas of abrasion. And we can try this to see if that takes care of it. It's pretty good. Actually, it uh, looked like it took care of the white paint, too. The goal here is to make your harp look as, as good as you can for performance, uh, because that's part of the image. And... Uh, it doesn't have to be professionally restored. It just has to look good, you know? A good patch job does a yes. lot. <laughs> like a new pair of shoes looks good. <laughs> okay. Now, if I were working on the soundboard, which we should do, uh, we wouldn't use this dark stuff. That would be too dark. Mm -hmm. But you can see how effective this is. Let's turn it around and, and show the soundboard. The soundboard is light wood, and we have a couple of pretty big uh, spots here, light spots. And why don't you just put some of that on there. So we use this uh, Old English for light wood. And they just disappear. If we use the dark wood uh, polish on them, they would, they would look black. And we don't want to do that because that would uh, not be natural. 
Now here we have some uh, some sort of uh, spilled something or other here. Chocolate maybe. <laughs> and in that case I would just use uh, soapy water on my towel and wipe that off. And if, if soapy water doesn't do it, I might try a little mineral spirits. Uh, and that should get rid of those. Just Some like getting that eye may jump off, huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots more we can work on here. Uh, the pillar has a bunch of dings, and this looks like paint. But uh, I think what I'm going to do, since this uh, old English is so effective, I'll start with that. And then if I need to do a little sanding, I'll, uh, I'll do that later. Yeah. See, this one spot here doesn't come off with this material because it's actually paint on the outside. Okay. That looks like it must be paint too. Yes. Those funny little yeah. lines there. Okay. So in that case, I sand it. Because the paint is on top of the finish, so you can just sand it off. That worked mm -hmm. fine. Good. And probably up here too, huh? Yeah, they come right off. There. So we've used everything but the duster and the varnish. Uh, the duster, usually what I do is get uh, a spray can of end dust and just spray the bristles a little. And then when I work it in, uh, the tight spots around the strings or up around the sharpened levers and up in here. Uh, the end dust draws and holds the dust so it doesn't just uh, push it around. So this is used for a lot of cleanup and a lot of just tidying of your instruments. That's right. It's mm -hmm. real minor maintenance but it makes a huge difference uh, to do it. And it's just a matter of choosing which product works the best here. And the, the idea of giving you a kit like this is you don't have to go out and buy a full-size bottle of everything, you know, or a big can of varnish, and, and how are you going to carry that stuff with you? Right. So we have a nice little cosmetic bag that's kind of like a clutch purse.